we are studying physics today that we didn't know we could study when we first built the facility. We have a tool here that nobody else on the planet does, and this provides us sort of unfettered and exclusive access to states that just cannot be created any other way outside of a weapons test. Z is basically a, a giant battery, it's a big capacitor bank. The entire innards of Z is a series of stages meant to simply take that electrical pulse and compress it in space, compress it in time, and generate the most extreme pulse of electrical power that you can on this planet. And that energy is funneled down to a tiny little centimeter-sized target region at the very middle of the facility, and that's where the physics experiment is. Well, for a very, very brief period of time, we actually have more power flowing through our machine than all the rest of the world combined. Z has probably on the order of uh, 50 people that actively work every day on the machine. The center has about 300 physicists, theoreticians, managers, support staff. It takes a large group of people just to get a shot on Z. In the absence of more underground testing, to understand whether our aging weapon systems still behave the way they should, is by simulating them. And those simulations rely on physics models that we have no means to test and refine and continue checking and improving without facilities like Z. Some fraction of the shots that we use on Z every year are to study the effects of things like x-rays on electronic components. The pressure that we can create with the Z machine is about 100 million times atmospheric pressure. We can achieve temperatures hotter than the center of the sun. The, the connection between the atomic scale physics of fusion energy, the stockpile stewardship, the radiation effects testing, even to the fundamental science like astrophysics, these are all things that we can try to understand better using Z. The whole point of this facility is to be able to ask and answer questions that our country needs to address as new threats evolve or as the science leads us to new places. Sometimes you have to push the boundaries of what's possible in order to achieve something that's truly revolutionary. Record a trigger in three, two, one, trigger.